The Magnificent Seven is a new Western film directed by Anton Fuqua and starring a shit ton of people, including Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, and Ethan Hawke, and Vincent D'Onofrio. There's also a couple more, but I'm just gonna stop there. So, um, I, I had a lot of fun with this film. You know, it's not... Like, I don't think it will, like, bring life back to Westerns. But, I mean, it was a good film. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was, I mean, relatively simple, but, I mean, the action was good. There's a whole bunch of uh, PG-13 violence, a whole bunch of dead people with no consequences, but, unless they're your heroes, but, uh, overall, you know, it was, it was, it's a fun Western, you know, it's, the one thing that's odd about it, though, is, you know, obviously, Denzel Washington is black. And this is in our world, you know, in, you know, after the Civil War, you know, somewhere in, somewhere in the South, I think, I'm not, I, I'm not sure exactly where it is, but it's, you know, places that wouldn't be too friendly to people of the darker complexion. But the weirdest thing is no one ever even mentions that Denzel Washington is black. Like, the only thing you get is, you get some conversations with him and Ethan Hawke about how they're on separate sides during the Civil War, and about how that Denzel Washington helped him, help, like, saved him or something, that he was, they were going to execute him, but they didn't, because he was, uh, he was a, a southern sharpshooter during the war, Ethan Hawke. But, you know, like, other than that, like, you think it's going to be like that, because, um... In the beginning of the movie, there's a Washington is uh, rides up into this town, and he's the only black person in the whole, in the town, and he goes into the bar. Everyone looks at him like, oh, like you know, they're they get scared of him, and there's something that's like, oh, that guy's trouble. But then they say, oh, hey, cowboy, you don't want a cowboy around here, and the way they say cowboy is like, like, did you want to say something else, but you didn't want to be controversial, so you just called, decided to call him a cowboy? Like, I mean, I understand, like, the, the, every film doesn't have to be, like, uh, like, Quentin Tarantino, but it kind of loses the sense of reality if no one even, like, mentions or thinks about it. Like, it's, like, it's kind of nice because it's just another character, but he would have gotten some different reactions you know, in, in real life, back in that day, if he went into these towns as a black man, and, you know, powerful, like, a, a, a cowboy, you know, he would have gone from different, some, some other things would have been said. I mean, just look at Blazing Saddles, you know, that's, these movies are actually slightly similar, which is weird to say, but, um, you know, there's, things would be different. <laughs> that's another thing I noticed, though, about the movie. It feels very modern for a Western. Like, a lot of the humor and a lot a lot of the stuff, that, even though people that are in it, and a lot of the, like, the, the characters, the way they are, and they have to put every possible person into it, and how it's shot, everything about it felt very modern. And, you know, that's probably what they were going for. But, you know, it's different. Like, you know, it's not done really, even though it's a Western, it doesn't really feel like a western, but I mean, it's a good film. You know, I had fun with it. Like, I mean, I would recommend it if you, especially if you like westerns. I mean, it's a fun time in the theater, but I mean, it's not something that everyone needs to go out and see right now. But uh, I probably give it an um, eight out of ten. You know, thanks.